Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com. Today I'm going to do a performance evaluation on one of the newest launches from the Riviera Yachts factory, the 465 SUV. With the tour of the engine room, which is accessed from a hatch right in the mezzanine deck. Well, we'll start with the focal point being the twin IPS 800, 600 horsepower D8 engines. There are pod drives connected by jack shafts, so the pods are accessible from hatches in the cockpit deck. Looking around the exterior, there's a sanitation system, Dometic air conditioning system for each of the staterooms, house batteries just below, 21.5 kW generator right here, fuel filters just above, there's a fixed firefighting system right behind me, got more batteries over to the side and there are electric battery switches just above and they're of course accessible from the helm with electronic switches. And then right in the middle of the aft section, Seakeeper 6 gyro stabilizer. Now let's talk about daily checks. First of all, sight tube for the fuel, I love seeing that. Sea strainers, easily accessible. Oil check is right here for the starboard engine. It's on the same side for the port engine, so we've got to go all the way to the other side, which we can do, but it's crawl space. Notice also how the engine mount bolts are torqued and marked. On the aft bulkhead of the mezzanine deck, master switches. 10 inch cleats are to each quarter with chafing gear just above and in true Riviera fashion, there are load guides just alongside each cleat. This is two of the eight cleats that are on the boat, four to each side. Just ahead, there are fender cleats on both sides of the cockpit and then there's a joystick control station with engine start stops right alongside. We access the bow from two 10 inch steps, average width 15 inches, right at the aft section here, 31 inch high rail on top of nine inch bulwarks. Here's one of our first midship cleats, 10 inches. Another 10 inch step, and we come forward, we still have seven inch bulwarks and 31 inch rails. Now fully forward, we've got the ground tackle, access hatches to both sides. This one leads to the road locker. This one gives you the salt and fresh water wash down as well as the remote control for the mirror windlass which is recessed into a panel. I like that so when we wash it down it all goes right off to the bow. Anchor road leads to a chain stopper, swivel, roller and then out to a roller that is recessed into the foredeck and we're utilizing a 35 kilogram 77 pound ultra anchor polished to a nice shine. There's more cleats to both sides with chafing gear just to the sides. Visibility is through a two-piece windshield, each measuring 62 inches by 36 inches and protected overhead from a 19 inch brow. Now let's take a look at the helm, which is starboard mounted. We'll begin at the top with the compass, which is mounted in the center of the console rather than in line with the helm, but it's not really too far offset. Two 16 inch displays flanked by climate control vents, the climate control panel, Seakeeper panel. Down below that we've got beverage holder, remote control for the spotlight, control for the windlass, IPS joystick, engine start stops, Volvo Penta display, the C-Zone control center, VHF and a Fusion stereo. All of this is a vinyl upholstery and then we've got leather going around the outside on this bolster. Sub panel to the right has the digital engine controls and all of our electrical switches and I'm always happy to see that there's a remote control located in a remote location from the main displays. Now the seats, dual Recaro seats, high rise, there's a single armrest, I'd like to see a flip armrest on the inside as well so that we have two, one here and then one here for the operator and they both adjust fore and aft. Underneath there are electrical controls and notice that there's an integrated footrest with non-skid just under the console. There's an opening side window, so I've got a good view of the starboard side with the joystick conveniently located. And of course, if we're backing into a slip, we have the aft joystick. So I'll just hold the boat here up against the dock with the joystick while the crew gets the last of the lines off. I've got a great view of the starboard side here. Hey, right, now the lines are off. Just get us away from the dock a little bit. Give me some room to maneuver bring us ahead. Just total maneuvering on the joystick here. Get us out of the dock, lined up in the fairway. Here we go. Real easy boat to maneuver. 
Really easy boat to maneuver, and I like how the joystick is so dialed into the IPS pods. The Riviera 465 SUV has a length overall of 52 feet 2 inches, a beam of 15 feet 7 inches, and a draft of 4 feet 4 inches. With an empty weight of 48,336 pounds, 31% fuel, and 3 people on board, we had an estimated test weight of 51,525 pounds. With the twin 600 horsepower Volvo Penta IPS 800 pod drive engines run up to 3050 RPM, our speed topped out at 32.3 knots. Best Cruiser was only slightly slower at 29.3 knots. It was at that speed that the 51 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 0.6 nautical miles per gallon and a range of 340.8 nautical miles, all while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 660 gallon total fuel capacity. In acceleration tests, we reached planing speed in 5 seconds flat, continued on to 20 miles per hour in 8.2 seconds, and 30 in 16.2. First of all, I have to say, as far as driving positions go, Riviera nailed it with this boat. I am in such a comfortable position. First of all, the seats, the base is angled back, so you're sitting into the seat rather than on the seat, and then it wraps around and just holds you. Now, that said, footrest is in a perfect position. My feet aren't dangling like they always are on nearly every boat that I test. Then, just fingertip controls. It's just so nice to be driving this boat these are a little bit further forward than I would like. I mean, back here while I'm sitting back, there's about my reach, but so what? I mean, that's not far. That's really nitpicking as far as the comfort level goes because it is such a comfortable boat to drive. Now, as far as handling characteristics, it's an IPS boat, so she's slow to come around, but she does respond nicely to the helm. We've got one, two, three and a half turns from lock to lock. So that gives you a lot of responsiveness as you're turning the wheel, even a short bit. Going through the waves, full speed, there was a little bit of pounding, so back off that speed a little bit. And at cruise speed, then she's comfortable, everything's much more docile, and now she cuts through the waves. You gotta give her the ability to go through the waves rather than oppose them and hit them. And then it works out really nicely. Turns, she puts in about a 15 degree bank angle as she turns and then comes around smartly, but as I say, it's an IPS boat, so it's a wide turning angle. Uh, other than that, everything is so predictable on this boat, and of course the joystick is matched nicely to the drives, so handling around the dock was easy as we were coming out, and then I have every reason to believe it's gonna be just as simple as we come in. So now as I make my approach here to this marina, I've gotta end up way over in there next to that Riviera that you can see in there. To do that, I've gotta come around this corner and in there, swing it around, back it in. And I'm still just using the sticks. I'm not on the joystick. So look at the maneuverability I've got. Oh, and look what's coming up right over here. Riviera's new 78. Isn't that pretty? So it looks like I gotta squeeze this in to this slip here between the dock and the boat. Plenty of room, look at this. And once I get us lined up, I'll go to the aft control station and take it from there. Now I'll just bring it sideways too, lay it up against the dock, let the crew put the lines on. Great handling characteristics, excellent maneuverability, all that we've come to expect from the brand and she's also a very roomy and comfortable boat to be in, but that's in another video, be sure to look for it. For now, this is my full performance evaluation of the 465 SUV from Riviera Yachts. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve, we'll see you on the water.